Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Bind and Loose. Beloved family, our text says, Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Matthew 18, 18. How many times have we heard, I bind you devil in the name of Jesus? Well, I have not only heard that demand, I have prayed it numerous times. But when we pray or declare these words, we need to understand the right mindset. Because the meaning of the words bind is to lock up or loose is to set free. Notice, Jesus says, whatever you bind and loose, not whomever you bind and loose. See, we are not to confuse this command with the words rebuke or cast out. We can rebuke people in our lives if they are wrong, but we can't bind them. Now, Jesus, our King, did cast out evil spirits and gave authority for his King of Believers to do the same. We are to cast them out, not bind them in the sense of locking them up. In Mark 3, whenever evil spirits saw Jesus, they would bow and confess that he is the son of the living God. And he would silence them before casting them out. The Bible records he appointed 12 that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach the kingdom and to have authority to drive out or cast out demons. The religious folk accused Jesus of being a demon, and not just any demon, but the chief one. They call him Beelzebub, and said, by demons you drive out demons. But Jesus responded, how can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if Satan opposes himself and is divided, he cannot stand. His end has come. In fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first he bind up the strong man. Then he can plunder the strong man's house and take the goods. This statement by Jesus that binding the strong man is what religion uses for us to think we should be binding people and evil spirits. For we say, I bind that devil in the name of Jesus. No, cast them out in the name of Jesus. This word for bind here is the word to tie up or lock up. And whom of us could tie up Satan or his demons? If we could, he would not be roaming rampant in our lives trying to kill and destroy us. From our opening text, I want us to uncover some spiritual truths about what Jesus said on this subject of binding and more importantly, what Christ did. The Satan is indeed Real. He is the tempter. He is the accuser of our faith. He roams around seeking to destroy us. He is the prince of darkness, which means ignorance. And his chief weapons are ignorance and religion. Satan wants us to walk around binding demonic forces. No, we need to be casting them out. King Jesus Christ did expel or cast out demons and evil spirits proving his authority over the kingdom of darkness. A key verse is in Matthew 16, 13 to 20, where we see Peter's powerful confession of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach as the Messiah. Jesus asked, who do you say that I am? Simon responds, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, you are favored, for this was supernaturally revealed by my Father in heaven. I give you the name Peter or Stone, because in the truth of this confession, I will build my church, my legislative assembly, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Then he says in verse 19, I will give you the keys, meaning authority, of the kingdom and whatever you bind, on earth shall already be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall already be loose in heaven. 
Here in this context, the word bound means forbid, declare unlawful or illegal. And the word loose means permit, declare lawful. So whatever we bind on earth, we declare unlawful on earth as it is unlawful in the kingdom of heaven. And whatever we loose on earth, we declare lawful as it is lawful in the kingdom of God. The keys of the kingdom of heaven and the binding and loosing signal power and authority to regulate earthly behavior as it relates to kingdom behavior. Remember, Jesus prayed, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. There is no spiritual demons in heaven to bind, neither are there any to be loosed. But there is unlawfulness or lawlessness on earth that must be bind, declared unlawful or illegal, because it is already unlawful or illegal in heaven. Help us to understand your word, Lord. These statements declared by Jesus are used by religion to justify binding the Satan and demons, to get us focusing on something other than what we are instructed to do. Now, let's look at what Jesus did. When he left the wilderness, the Satan approached him to tempt him. Whenever Satan tempted Jesus, he immediately responded with the word of God. Then he said, get behind me, Satan. The Satan wasn't bound because the Bible said he left Jesus until an opportune time. In other words, the Satan wanted to come back at Jesus, which he did by entering Judas to betray our Lord. Jesus Christ resisted Satan, temptation, and Satan fled till another opportunity presented itself. James 4 says, submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. But Jesus Christ, Yeshua, would cast out demons. He declared them illegal and unlawful in human bodies, and by his authority evicted them. When we pray, bind and loose people or spirits in our lives, we need to understand the meaning. The prayer of the righteous are powerful and effective. We don't want to just be praying religious words that have no effect in our lives because our faith doesn't equal our confession. Family, we must bind, meaning forbid or declare illegal and unlawful those behaviors, thoughts, words, and actions on earth that are against the word or kingdom of God. And loose, meaning permit and declare those lawful behaviors that are obedient to the will, the word, and the kingdom of God. Heavenly Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. We lose kingdom wisdom, kingdom understanding, and kingdom love in the earth. In Jesus' name and authority, we pray. Amen. Much love.